Hi, this is Alexia Totsis with TechCrunch TV, and I'm here with StumbleUpon CEO Garrett Camp, and he, he is here to talk to us about his new ad platform, Paid Discovery. Yep, we have a uh, new ad platform actually coming out uh, Monday the 14th. Uh, that's it's called, today. That's today. Uh, it's called Paid Discovery. Uh, basically what it is is a uh, uh, better way to actually kind of target and manage your campaigns with StumbleUpon. Um, right now, we have kind of uh, kind of a basic system where you can kind of buy kind of stumbles, you know, paid inclusion within the stream. And this new system actually has three big advantages over the old one. Uh, the first one is you can actually target mobile. Before, we never had any kind of paid placements in mobile. Uh, so people who are trying to promote apps, they would be launching like an iPhone app or something, and there's no way to actually use StumbleUpon to do that. Um, so now with the new system, you can. Uh, the second one is way better analytics. Uh, before, it was very basic stats, you know, how many stumbles you got, you paid for, how many you got for free, and that was about it. Now you're going to be able to know how much it was shared on Twitter or Facebook. You're going to be able to see what cities it's most popular in, like what locations, what topics. So way more analytics than before. And also, um, we're going to have basically the third feature is uh, you have different kind of serving priorities. In the past, everything competed based on quality. There was only one level. Um, some people were saying that they didn't get, like, basically couldn't get enough traffic. And they would try to launch something really quickly, and they're competing with way too many people. Uh, now they're going to be able to have two new kind of pricing plans, 10 cent, 25 cent. And if you go with a higher price plan, you're going to basically get a kind of serving priority. So if you want to launch something really quickly, you know, you have a movie that's coming out, you can basically get a lot of traffic to a movie trailer in like three days because you go with a higher plan. So those are the three new features. Uh, I know that your last, the ad platform you currently run was primarily targeting publishers. Yep. Uh, and this one seems like it would uh, target larger brands. Yep, this is more focused on, I'd say, yeah, large companies, brands. I mean, definitely still independent publishers, bloggers will still use it. I mean, they can still use the standard kind of um, system we have now. But if you are looking to get something really, really quickly, if you want a lot more detailed analytics around who's seeing your content, if you want to know exactly how long they spend on the site, so this is the number of seconds that they spend on your page versus another page that you've tried. If you really want a lot of insight and you want a lot better targeting and you want um, a lot higher priority, then you can use this system. Um, I know that you're, you're also working on something with ad ranking, uh, ad quality. How does that work? And how does that work with pricing? Uh, so basically what we do is um, we let people actually give a thumb up or thumb down to a paid placement just like any other piece of content. Because we feel like the, the quality of the advertising should be high. We don't even really want it to feel like advertising. We just want it to be really great content that happens to be sponsored that is still targeted to your interests. So we let you give a thumb up or thumb down. So ads will compete against other ads. So we only try to show one ad. You know, you know, the best ad for the person at any given time. So when you're coming along, you'll actually be able to rate the pay, uh, pay placements you see, and each rating you'll give will make future ones better. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty unique platform where the community actually kind of curates the advertising uh, and makes it so that the advertising gets better and better over time, you know, matched to your interests. It's, uh, it's extremely unique because you don't even click on it. There's no clicks. There mm -hmm. is no click. In fact, the whole kind of, you know, phrase of this, of this launch is skip the click, you know. You can skip the click with paid discovery um, because unlike a banner where you kind of have banner blindness and you're on the side and you know hoping for a one percent click through rate with paid discovery you get um, people directly to your site. So if you target you know you know let's say guys, music, you know USA, you're going to get a lot of people directly to your site. You're going to get a lot of unique visitors. So yeah, you can definitely skip the click with with paid discovery. Do you have any people you're initially launching with? Any notables? Um, we're doing a lot of test campaigns. I'm not sure which ones we're really launching with. Um, a few movie studios are, are doing campaigns right now. We did something with the Oscars. It was pretty cool to kind of get traffic to Oscars.com. Um, there's no one I'm really, that comes to mind, but we have about 60,000 advertisers. So there's a lot of people using it. Uh, the, the internet advertising model at this point, the clicks and page views, mm -hmm. is, is kind of flawed in my opinion, or, mm -hmm. or a little bit broken. Mm -hmm. How do you think a paid discovery will, will increase this, will increase ad relevancy and uh, like bring the medium forward in a sense? Oh, well, I think for two reasons. One is that because there is no proxy, there is no interme intermediary of like, you have to create a text ad or you have to create a banner. Like why create something in between you and the content you've already created? Usually the content you've created is probably better than the ad you're going to create. So why not just skip that ad and remove it all together? Um, so that's one difference. The second is that you actually can rate stuff. So um, I don't really know of many ad platforms that actually you know, I guess I guess they do try to learn what you like a little bit, but it's not based on your explicit thumb up, thumb down, how long you've looked, how much you've shared. Like all this data is not used to personalize your experience. So the reason, you know, I think the two reasons are we basically skip the click, we don't have any banner, and we let people then give direct feedback. 
based on how long they spend, how much they rate, they share on a piece of content. And that means that it's just much more effective means of getting your content directly to a, a you know, target audience. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you for joining us at South by Southwest and explaining paid discovery. Thanks for having me.